Hi guys, so I had somebody yesterday that wanted to know how I made these. They're like little felt lined uh, fluffy stuffers for newborn photography. Perfect size for fitting in baskets. I've got one here on my desk so they can, you can kind of like stuff them in, things like that. Uh, you can make them whatever size you want really, it just depends on how uh, large the felt is that you use on the back. Just move the green one, which is what I'm about to do now. So all you need is some wool. Now I've done it with two different types of wool. So this is a new one that I've been using, um, which frays quite easily, comes apart quite easily. And I like the fact that it's two-tone. It's got some blues and greens in there. Um, but the wool that I used for this, the pink one, I'll very quickly show you. Okay, so this one, this pink fur one, started out life like this. It's a chunky, uh, chunky knit one. Uh, it was about £2.99. Um, and this is still part of the same uh, ball of yarn that I used to make that. So I could easily make two, um, two small ones out of one of these, which was like, like I say, £2.99. Um, all I did was cut them into strips about that long, about four or five inches, and then I just unraveled them. And when you unravel this one, I'll show you. Okay, so you can see I've just cut that there. It's quite hard to do this with one hand. But you can see it's like four individual threads. Okay, and all you need to do when you've got those is then separate them again or just rough them up like that and they'll go all fluffy. Okay, and then eventually you'll have a whole basket filled with fluff like that. This is with the green one that we're doing today. So I'll just move that. Okay, so when you've got your fluff, let's get some out. Get a few strands. Okay, so here I've just got a sheet of felt. Okay, I got a multi pack of different coloured felts for uh, again about three pound, um, and I have a felting needle. Okay, now this one has five different needles inside. Each one is barbed uh, with like little hooks. Uh, and there is no substitute for this. You have to do it with a felting needle. You can get individual felting needles, which are a bit cheaper, or you can get these, which do the job a hell of a lot quicker. Um, and these are about £10. Or you can pick them up on eBay for about £5, actually. Okay, so what you want to do is grab, if I can get it, a small handful it's a bit smaller than I would usually grab okay now I like to work all around the edge first and then just keep coming in until you eventually you end up in the center and then you get that ni nice kind of frayed out effect okay so you want to place it right on the edge don't use too much otherwise it's not going to work as well and make sure that you keep it nice and frayed where you're going to attach it because it will attach better Okay, and just using the tool. Oh, I forgot to mention actually, I'm doing this on uh, a foam block, a nice firm fo foam block so the needles go through. And what happens is, like I said, it is a lot easier than this, but it's, uh, I use my other hand that I'm filming with to hold down the felt. So I can't really do it at the minute. Okay, so what happens is, as you're pushing the needles through, it's forcing very fine fibres to pop through and then it kind of keeps it adhered, it's stuck there. The more you do it, the better it is. Okay, so you just do that. Work your way all around. And then, when you're finished, you'll have something like that very thick, fluffy, furry little thing. And as you can see, it's all stuck on the back. 
fantastic for newborn photography stuffers you can have them hanging over the edge uh, you can do all sorts and you can do any color I've done uh, just starting this green one I've got a pale blue one this pink one and a purple one so far and it's quite therapeutic actually but if you need uh, any other suggestions or if you want to know uh, anything else about how to do it then ask away in the comments thank you